At least three new NVIDIA cards are set to be launching very, very soon. I can't believe this. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So just recently over on Twitter, it looks like the NVIDIA GeForce account actually tweeted out what seems to be a teaser for their live stream event that will be happening on the 12th. And in this teaser, it looks like videocards.com, which by the way, there will be links to all my sources in the description below as always, but they were able to get some screen grabs out of this little teaser trailer and it shows us some pretty interesting stuff. And it pretty much confirms that at least three new different types of video cards will be announced during this live stream event. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the first little screen grab that they are able to get, we can see what does appear to be a laptop. So this pretty much does confirm that probably at least two of the different things that are gonna be uh, released during this event or at least talked about are likely going to be laptop GPUs. But don't worry, there will be likely some sort of desktop GPU, if not maybe even two or three different desktop GPUs that could be announced and possibly even released during this live event. But in any case, let's first talk about those laptop video cards. So obviously the first picture, it definitely shows a laptop. And if that's not clear enough, the second little image that they were able to grab out of this teaser does show what a appears to be a laptop GPU with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different GDDR6 modules on it. So it looks like a GPU that does have eight gigabytes of VRAM though. You know, even though it does only show eight gigabytes of VRAM here, and what we're likely looking at is the heavily rumored RTX 3080 or the RTX 3070 mobile versions. It does appear that at least according to rumors that there's likely going to be a 16 gigabyte variant of the RTX 3080 mobile. Now, of course the RTX 3080 mobile version will be based off of the GA104, at least that's what the rumors are hinting at right now. And the GA104 is actually the GPU that you'll find inside of the desktop RTX 3070. So this mobile version of the RTX 3080 is likely not going to be quite as fast as you're expecting. And on top of that, the RTX 3080 on the desktop has a 320 watt TDP, and there's just no way that they're going to fit that inside of a laptop. So expect these RTX 3080 and 3070 mobile versions to be, you know, at least somewhat slower than their desktop variants. And, you know, it's probably going to be substantially slower because we're probably going to be looking at not only cut down core counts, but you're probably also going to be looking at significantly lower clock speed. So yeah, these definitely aren't going to be a match for their desktop variants, but hey, if you're someone who you desperately want a new RTX 30 series GPU for whatever reason, it looks like there's likely going to be laptops coming out soon here, and that's definitely going to be one option that will be available to you because, you know, people can't really mine on these laptops. Now they can, but they can't set them up in mining farms. So this might be one of the best options for you if you want to, you know, make pretty much a whole new gaming PC. You could just go out, buy a laptop, and maybe connect your own keyboard, mouse, and display to it. And, you know, that way you're not going to get quite as much performance as you'd get on a desktop, but you're getting the whole system, and it's probably going to end up costing you less than if you went and tried to buy an RTX 3080 right now, considering the fact that at least Asus so far has increased the prices to the point where you're probably looking at an average of over $900 for an RTX 3080, and on eBay, oh my lord, they're like $1,400 minimum now. So yeah, this might be a good alternative for you if you can't actually seem to find a desktop RTX 3080. But in any case, moving on to the desktop stuff, because I know that's probably why a lot of you clicked on this video, and it looks like in the third image that they were able to grab here, and this is the last one I'm going to be talking about, they do seem to be showing what appears to be some sort of desktop GPU. Now, we don't know for sure. This could just be some sort of thing that they're showing for a mobile version of a card, but to me, this does look like the side of a desktop GPU, and this does kind of, to me, look like what appears to be a 60-class GPU, because it looks very similar to maybe what you'd see on the side of an RTX 3070. So I'd assume if it's the Founders Edition, they're probably going to use the same Founders Edition cooler as the RTX 3070 and as they used on the RTX 3060 Ti, I believe. So what we're probably looking at here is the heavily rumored RTX 3060 12 gigabyte variant. And I know a lot of you are probably pretty confused about that 12 gigabytes. So I'm going to break down to you maybe why they're going for 12 gigabytes on the RTX 3060, whereas the 3060 Ti 3070 have 8 gigabytes and the 3080 only has 10 gigabytes. So the reason why they're probably going for 12 gigabytes on the RTX 3060 which I do believe will be launching during this event is because, well, they're going to have this GPU on a 192-bit bus with, I believe, regular GDDR6. And the reason why they're doing that is because they don't want to give this GPU way more bandwidth than it needs. They don't want to spend more money on this GPU. If they don't really have to, they don't want to put more power into the GPU. So the best way to do all three of those things is to reduce the bus size and, you know, put the appropriate speed of memory on it. So in order to do that, they pretty much have 
have no option but to go with a 192-bit bus. And with a 192-bit bus, if you're looking at 8 gigabit or 16 gigabit modules, which I believe are the only modules you can buy of GDDR6 right now, uh, as far as I'm aware, well, then you're stuck with either putting 6 gigabytes of VRAM on there or 12 gigabytes of VRAM. And if they put 6 gigabytes of VRAM on the RTX 3060, I know a lot of you, like me, would be very unhappy with that. So their only other option, pretty much, is to put 12 gigabytes of VRAM on it. So that's why they're doing it. That's why it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it's kind of the only way they can do it. Um, but, you know, hey, if you're going to buy a 60-class GPU, I'd much rather have 12 gigabytes than, say, 8 gigabytes. So, hey, it's a good thing for those of you who are looking for this GPU. And, you know, speaking of the different desktop GPUs that could be released, it looks like there is a potential for them to at least tease or announce an RTX 3080 Ti as well as a 3070 Ti. Now, I'm a little bit less confident in these. I'm pretty sure they will show the 3060 Ti, not 100% on the 3080 Ti, not 100% on the 3070 Ti, especially, I think, that one is likely going to be pushed off a ways here. Uh, my guess is the 3080 Ti definitely could be announced during that event, which, by the way, if you're not subscribed and you're still watching this video, 100% make sure you're subscribed because I will be live streaming the event, uh, giving a little bit of commentary and background during the event while it's going on, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. It always is, so again, make sure you subscribe for that so that you can enjoy the live stream with me at the same time. But in any case, I believe what's likely going to happen with the 3080 Ti is they're probably going to have a separate event where they do show off the 3080 Ti in February. But again, they could be showing it during this event, so it's another thing that we need to be on the lookout for. And you know, while it's all well and good that we'll probably be seeing at least three new GPUs announced during this event, one thing that's uncertain is, are you actually going to be able to buy these things? Now, like I mentioned earlier, the laptop variants probably will be more easily attainable simply because there's not going to be people trying to mine on them. But when you take a look at the RTX 3080 with that 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I think that's going to be a pretty hot commodity. And you know, there's a lot of people who are just desperate for new GPU. So obviously day one, it's going to be very difficult in my opinion to get one of these cards, but I'm going to leave you with a little bit of good news. So not only has NVIDIA recently signed uh, an agreement with um, Samsung to make double the amount of 8 nanometer wafers, which should lead to much higher amount of supply available, but on top of that, the RTX 3060 is a 60 class GPU, and a lot of the enthusiast people who sit there on day one refreshing pages trying to get a GPU are looking at 70 class and above GPUs, or maybe even the 3060 Ti. So I think as we start to move our way down to the 60 class, the 50 Ti, the 50 class GPUs, I think your chances of getting these cards is going to be much better and I also think that this is reflected in the available supply right now so if you take a look at the amount of cards that do seem to be coming in uh, what I've noticed is that the 70 class GPUs are much more available than the 80 class GPUs and the 3060 Ti uh, GPU is also much more ava available as well so I think that's down to like I mentioned uh, a lot of the enthusiasts are less interested in the mid-tier cards they're more interested in the high to enthusiast class GPUs and so they're going to be less likely to be sitting there refreshing pages but you know no matter what happens, those first days are going to be very, very difficult to get this GPU. So if you want one, you're going to have to try and get up exactly when these things release. You're going to have to follow bots on Twitter and on Discord to make sure that you get notified on your phone when they come in stock. But, you know, hopefully you do have a much better chance of getting the RTX 3060. And I think it's going to be a great value GPU if it does come in around $300 or less. But unfortunately, I think NVIDIA is probably going to try and push for $330. But hey, that's just what I think. What GPU GPUs do you think are going to be launched during this event? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.